hello this is survey uh, engineering uh, question paper done on module 3 that is the third year of the session and uh, this is the last part of the question paper question number 8 uh, on which um, I had not tackled anything under uh, photogrammetry so let me see on ways I can help you I'm going to do the whole question this is the first I I avoid these questions because as you can see they keep on repeating them but learners never attempt such questions but let me try maybe some of you can get a little bit interest and do these questions because they keep on repeating them I guess none of you attempts them so let's go ahead that is uh, July 2023 uh, series uh, paper done for diploma 3 under building and civil engineering uh, question 8 the first question that is define the term photogrammetry Question 8b, outline three methods by which the average scale of a vertical photographs may be determined. Question c, state six factors of affecting stereoscopic viewing in aerial photography. So let me tackle first those three questions. Uh, photogrammetry, this is the practice of determining the geometric of objects from the photographic images uh, here we can get uh, much details from photographs uh, including measurement geographical so we have other photos where we have something called geotagging so we can get uh, information such as latitudes longitudes and uh, even elevations given a place uh, you can check that then question 8b methods by which the average scale of vertical photographs are determined uh, the first by ratio of photograph distance to ground distance so that is the ratio of the, those two distances then the second by ratio of focal length of taking camera to the flying height so focal length i hope you have a clue about that so the focal length of the camera to the flying height uh, maybe of the craft or in uh, in the modern times we are using uh, drone technology it's a little bit easier and then on the third uh, scale may be modified by the height of features above the datum so datum that is the height of features above sea level uh, we can get something uh, in photographs taken above the datum uh, question 8c factors affecting stereoscopic viewing in aerial photogrammetry uh, the first is the y parallax that is an error the parallax error so find on the y-axis a uh, improper orientation of the photos so while flying a uh, craft or maybe the drone we can have an improper orientation then we have the variation in flying heights uh, by flying a drone i've seen so the height keeps on varying due to some environmental uh, condition like wind uh, the terrain then we have excessive tilts so that also is caused by winds the terrain the moving turbulence then we have the vertical uh, Exa, uh, that is exa, exaggerations and, uh, so those are exa, exaggerations then the last we have the earth curvature so the earth curvature can affect the way the uh, the wing of the data provided by maybe the map taken by an aerial object an aerial flying object so that the earth curvature can cause something there to be different then here we have question d so that was a calculation question uh, four marks according to me those four marks were a little bit little uh, because this question needed much concentration 
for our four marks so uh, we can put there maybe a 10 marks or 15 something like that so let's go ahead and tackle that question so that is question 8d uh, the photograph coordinates of images of points a and d as they appear on a vertical photographs are as given below so there we have a table uh, with three columns on uh, the first row that we have points uh, under the y-axis and the x-axis uh, measurements in millimeters of point a and d only the focal length of the camera used is to 10 millimeters the latitude of four ground points appearing on the image a b c and d are 550 millimeters 750 millimeters 845 millimeters and the last that is 1000 millimeters uh no that is in those are meters sorry for that so those are meters respectively uh the flying height of the aircraft is 5000 meters compute the ground distance of a d a total of four max uh, let's go directly to the solution so here we have the measured photographic coordinates r so that is uh, x uh, a y a x d and y d uh, those are the measured photographic coordinates so those are the coordinates found on the photos as we have been told there so the coordinates of the ground points we can represent them using capitals in order for us to know the difference between the photographic coordinates and the coordinates of the ground so photographic coordinates those are the coordinates uh, found in the image the image the picture the image that and the coordinates of the ground those are the coordinates found on the uh, physical tangible hard ground yeah from the from similar triangles we can get the following equations you can see them they are on the screen so those are questions that i used to calculate are uh, the ground coordinates so we get our ground coordinates from the photographic coordinates they are our first formula that is x a that is the capital representing the ground coordinates is equals to the uh, photographic coordinates of a into brackets h now that is the h the area uh, you can see in our question that is the flying height of the uh, aircraft that is the big h then we have a small h a uh, that is the appearing uh, so there we have the latitudes of those points are uh, represented there by a small h of f f that is the focal length given to us so that is the focal length of the camera uh, we have the other equations similar so all these four equations uh, those are the equation that we need in order for us to get the ground coordinates from the uh, photographic coordinates so from the ground coordinates of the two points that is a and d the horizontal length of the line AD can be calculated using Pythagorean or Pythagoras theorem as uh, you can see there. So there we have the distance AD uh, is equal to the square root of the difference in the ground coordinates of D and A squared plus the uh, difference in the ground coordinates so those are the y coordinates found on the y axis axis so those are the coordinates found on the y axis of those points square so we'll get our answer uh, 
a simple solution so the ground coordinates are given by uh, the formula that we had there earlier so we get our ground coordinates for y axis and uh, point a uh, is equals to the photographic coordinates uh, given to us there on the table uh, photographic coordinates are in millimeters you convert them to meters because all our data needs to be the same so that will be 0 0.2145 uh, into brackets our big h uh, given to us on the question that is 5000 meters minus our small h that is the latitude given to us on the question there so that is 550 uh, divided by f uh, our f is in millimeters you can see there on the question so you convert it into meters and our answer becomes 45 45.357 uh, the same is done on the uh, the ground coordinates under the y axis of a and also the ground coordinates under the x axis of d and also on the y axis of d uh, getting our answer as represented there on the screen so use your calculator well correctly to identify those answers after getting that we come to our final equation also the distance ad is equals to the square root of uh, the coordinates that we have already calculated there so you input the value from the data that we have there and our data will represent well uh, what we are calculating uh, so uh, the difference between those uh, ground coordinates under the x axis squared plus those under the y axis squared and our total we calculate the square root of all uh, getting our final answer as 9441.9 meters that is all so question question 8e uh, the importance of overlap and side lap in aerial photographs uh, the first is to allow the strip to be connected together then our second point uh, it leaves some margin for errors in navigation since the craft will rarely fly on a straight line due to factors such as grub so that was uh, for late uh, question 8 total of 20 marks I'm sure that was simple so you can go ahead and revise something under photogrammetry this is one of the simplest question under survey but rarely done by students uh,